For question number four, we want to just choose a strategy where we can kind of line up the different x values with each other. Okay, now the, the graphs are not given in this way, but I've oriented them so I can see the x values lining up with each other. And what we want to look for is where the, the minimums, where we have any minimums, and where they relate to zero. So in this case here, I have a minimum here. I have a zero here and look for maximums and see if they relate to any zeros. Here they relax, relate to a maximum, here is a zero. Okay, so we, we're seeing that we have these min and max match, and again we have another min here, and it relates to zero here. So it looks like three is a derivative of two. Okay, we can also see that this one looks kind of fourth degree, this one looks kind of cubic, although in this case it's hard to tell and that's not a really great criteria for that. So we know that 3 is a derivative of 2. And then when we look at the, the min and max of 3, they seem to match the zeros of... They seem to match the zeros of 1. So we end up with 2 is the initial function. This is a derivative going this way. And then going from 3 to 2, that represents the second derivative. So we're looking at the answer is 3. 1 is f, 2 is f prime, sorry, three is, sorry 2 is f, 3 is f prime, and 1 represents the second derivative.